Good evening, the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, earthquake in Yerzenka province, Western Armenia. The meeting between Armenian and Iranian foreign ministers took place in Yerevan. Armenian and Russian ministers of defense discussed situation in Artsakh. Syria is holding presidential elections today. The goods of Artsakh exhibition fair to be held in Yerevan. Eight Turkish soldiers were killed in Iraq. The wonderful lakes of Western Armenia waiting for their visitors. Interview with the director of the Shushi History Museum, Ashot Harutunyan. According to the latest news, a 4.2 magnitude earthquake took place today in Yerzenga of Western Armenia. According to preliminary data, there are no casualties as a result of the earthquake in Yerzenga, also felt in other regions of Western Armenia. Disaster and Emergency Management Presidency reports that the earthquake was registered at 12.37 a.m. in Otlukbeli province of Yerzenga at a depth of 5 km with a 4.2 magnitude. Acting Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Armenia, Arai Vazian, mentioned the following at a meeting with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Iran, Mohammed Javad Zarif, in Yerevan. There is no doubt that this encroachment on the territorial integrity of Armenia is a direct consequence of the inadequate international and regional response to Azerbaijan's actions against the self-determination of the people of Artsakh since September 27 last year, as well as the threat to regional peace. With a sense of impunity, Azerbaijan is trying to create new geopolitical realities that are not in the interests of countries interested in regional stability. In these circumstances, dialogue with our regional partners is more than important. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu discussed the situation in Artsakh with Armenian Acting Defense Minister Vagashak Harutyunyan on Tuesday evening. The Russian Defense Ministry informed reporters about this on Wednesday morning. The situation in the region in Nagorno-Karabakh in the areas of implementation of the task of the Russian peacekeeping contingent, as well as other topics of mutual interest, were discussed during the conversation, the Russian Defense Ministry said. Third ATM reports that Syria is holding presidential elections today, noting that the favorite is the current head of state Bashar al-Assad. At the media conference in Damascus, Minister of Internal Affairs Mohamed Rahmon said more than 18 people would go to the elections. According to him, voting will take place in 12,102 polling stations, which will open at 7 a.m. and will work until 7 p.m. Rahmon noted that the authorities have taken the necessary sanitary and preventive measures in advance, taking into account the threat of coronavirus infection. Everything has been done for the convenience of the citizens, he stressed. Three candidates are running for the presidency. Assad, former member of parliament Abdullah Salum Abdullah, and the representative of the patriotic opposition Mahmoud Ahmed Mura. The president officiates for seven years in Syria. Yerevan municipality invites to take part in the Goods of Artsakh exhibition fair to be held in Yerevan in the framework of Stepanakert Yerevan Corporation, which will take place on May 30 from 1 a.m. to 10 p.m. in Khachkar Park. The Information and Public Relations Department of Yerevan Municipality reported. According to the source, the production services of about 30 Artsakh companies will be presented at the exhibition fair. Visitors will have the opportunity to taste as well as to buy Artsakh food and drinks. Artsakh hotel services, carpet weaving, taxi production and handicrafts will be presented at the exhibition. Bombings of Turkish army are going on in northern Iraq. Military planes bombed the area around the village of Miska in the Kani Masab district of the Metina region at 3 a.m. on May 25. During the bombardment, the villagers were injured. Vineyards yards and the village church were damaged. Eight Turkish occupying soldiers were killed as a result of the actions of the revolutionary movement of Bazen Chagros. The lakes in the provinces of Ahlat, Adiljavas, Mushvarto, in Bagash, Western Armenia, which host many local and foreign tourists every year, are ready to host their visitors again after the COVID-19 restrictions are lifted. Nazik Lake in Ahlat, which resembles an open-air museum with its historical structures, Agir, Aringil Lakes at the foot of Mount Sipan, and Lake Hamurpet in Varto province, attract people with their unique nature, fresh air, and beauty. These tectonic and volcanic lakes of different sizes, depths, which have been declared a specially protected area, get a unique beautiful look in the spring with dark blue waters and colorful flowers blooming around. It does not end with counting the beautiful places of our homeland, Western Armenia. Dear compatriots, now especially during the summer season is the right time to visit the beautiful places of our country. If you have the time and opportunity, we definitely recommend seeing these lakes.
On Western Armenia TV, the director of the Shoshi History Museum, Ashot Harutunyan, spoke about the exhibits in the museum and their usefulness. He introduced their partner organizations, the famous structures whose management staff visited the museum, especially mentioned the teaching staff of Harvard University. He referred to the methods of his management, which were developed by him and are used in the museum. The director of the museum recalled the cultural events due to which the people of Shushi started to get acquainted with the fortress city in more detail and to really love it. The video is available on our YouTube channel. Now I present you Hayrene Sembal Ayasina. The full version is available on the official website of Western Nermina TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.